Well, it's time for the hand spa. Every party should have a hand spa. Now, you've already gotten your handy dandy spa cards, you've talked to your hostess and done all the hostess coaching steps. Now, we're gonna come into the kitchen and the hostess will be greeting the guest and sending them on in to you. Now, as soon as they get to you, you wanna make eye contact and shake their hand and thank them for coming. Ask them their name. Now, here's a quick tip. Use their name in a sentence right away. So, Kim, how do you know Angie? And in that way, you'll start to remember their name. This connection you make when you first start at the sink at the hand spa will carry you through to a booking because most people book because they like you and they like the treatments that they're getting and they'll invite you into their home. So, to do a hand spa, all of the items that you need are on your spa cards. But you're gonna need your soap saver and your shower gel. We put about a third of the gel in and the rest water and shake that up. That's gonna be our hand wash. You're gonna need your salt scrub and a spoon. I always forget the spoon. So you'll need that to be able to have that or a scoop. Paper towels. You don't wanna use the hostess's paper towels. You wanna use your paper towels. You'll bring those with you. We also wanna have our shea butter at the sink as well as our dead sea salt if we're gonna do foot treatments. Now you get this big bag, I would do the foot treatment. So while we're doing the hand spa and we're washing her hands and we're talking with her, after you're done with the water, you can fill up a foot tub, put about a tablespoon into the foot tub and then she can carry that in when you're done. So you begin with the soap saver. You'll put a, a nice size amount in her hands and have her begin to wash her hands. So Kim, do you live near here? And continue to use her name. You want to connect at this point. You add a dollop of salt scrub into the middle of her hand and then have her go ahead and continue to scrub. Doesn't that feel good? Think of how that would feel on your feet. It's awesome. Then she continues to scrub. Then you're going to rinse her hands off and then you're going to nod and you're going to say, wow, doesn't that feel good? We call that the wow factor. Everybody says, wow, that feels good when you rinse off. Give her a paper towel and let her pat dry her hands. This is when you'll switch the sink over and start to fill up her foot tub for her. The foot tubs are just a dollar a piece. They're a plastic tub. We'll show you a picture here in a second of the tub and you can fill that up then they'll take them into the living room with them. She's gonna put that dollop of shea butter right into the middle of her hands and rub that together. Continue to visit with her. So Kim, what do you do with your time? I never ask people, where do you work? I was a stay-at-home mom for seven years. I worked nonstop, 24 hours a day. So what do you do with your time? She may say, oh, I love hiking. I love biking. Um, I have grandkids. Um, I work three jobs. Listen, listen, listen. This is your time to connect with each person. The average spa show is gonna have anywhere between five and 10 people. So that night you wanna focus on those ladies and make sure that you know their name, you've connected with them. So by the time the party's over, from the first hand spa treatment to the end, that they feel like they've connected with you and they're gonna say yes to booking their own party with you, purchasing, they're gonna have confidence, and then also they're gonna maybe even possibly join your team. But your spa cards have everything you need as a tutorial guide. So hopefully you'll set up your sink, practice a couple times at home, but do a hand spot at the beginning of every spot party. It is the best way to connect and begin the pampering.